Yo, what's up everybody? It's a Mustachio Joshi welcoming you back to some more Zoneblade Chronicles of Fan Edition. Last time, we made it to the Hidden Magna Village, and well, this time we got ourselves a new objective. To find a Paizo Electric Unit to help Fiora. Let's go for it. Oh, got Kazat here. Hi there. <laughs> now my Dar won't even speak to me. She's over a thousand years old. You'd have thought she'd have grown out of the rebellious stage. Hmm, that's certainly true. Makes you wonder. Well... It's interesting to think about. The Fallen Arm has a lot of greenery here. And got giant mech on debris. Wow. Ice Aether gr uh, gear. That's pretty good. Digit 5, though, huh? That's the last of the five digital filaments. Now Rizaka can fix the door of her house. Digit one. You do not want to fight that powerful Illegos. That is a level 80. At least, you don't want to fight it right now. Perhaps later, but not right now. We got Summer Star. And we've got Heart to Heart here. Between Fiora and Melia. Wait, so we already know of the heart-to-heart -heart there at Inlet Beach. We already know of the heart-to-heart -heart at there. Um, so we need to go that way. Wait, we could just go to Inlet Beach, technically. <clears throat> and swim there, too. Wait, we can't. Or could we? Could we? I thought we could swim there. I guess we can't. Um, back to the junks. <laughs> Actually, what am I doing? Giant mech on debris. So we have a bunch of mech on here, including some sound types. I'm not focused on these mech on right now. For now, I'm more focused on getting to where we have to go. This is Digit 1 Crevasse. Ooh, we have some collectibles here. I wonder how we could climb our way up to Digit 2. It's got to be like a climbing space here. Right? 
Any sort of platform I can get up on? No? There's a Machna up there! We have ventured a long way. Hard to believe that Sword Valley was just up there the whole time. That's Poison War! Don't chance that! Why did I do that? You know what? Lampo Ponyo? Let's fight it. Not sure why mechanical rhythm is playing here. We're not exactly fighting Mechon, but I guess it's because where where the Mechonis is. We got Ponyo Hoof Seal. Let's go. Sound type Mechon. Let's just run right past it. We got Summer Star. Those are Cordiente Crabbles. I also want to try and get Fiora her fourth skill tree. That would be... That'd be great. Oh, it's a bridge that gets us between there. Those are level 56 units, though. Um, there is a heart-to-heart -heart up here. I would like to see it. At least to uh, see the requirements for it. Just gonna have to evade all the mech on there here. Star cute. This is where Mumkar ended up. Dunman Fiora, or not Fiora, Melia. Make our way to digit five. Guess that Paizo electric unit. Hopefully, without aggroing that splendid boat piece. Or any other mech on in the area. I said hopefully without aggroing the other mech on in the area, but eh. Suppose I had to aggro them. It had to be this way. Oh no! Oh no! Oh 
Let's use Minato Eater. Go for Fizz defense down. Uh, Ricky. Sneaky. Worldly Slash. Mm, we got down to half its health. Let's go for No Enchant. Backslash. Wait, so we actually can defeat this! Oh no. Um, Dunban, we need you up. Let's inflict slow. Shield Bash! All right. Slit Edge. Sneaky. Gale Slash. Help Ricky. We defeated that mech on. <laughs> and we got the Paizo Electric Unit. Man. I'm proud of how far I've come along in this journey. But we should also gather quests here. We have... Uh, uh, that was a little weird. Come on. Shulk, jump up! Okay. Let's talk to these Magna. Uh, eh, eh, there we go. Natalia. Yes. What am I going to do? I really have to get to them. Sounds like you've got a problem. Hero Pawn can fix any problem. Hey, maybe you can help. I don't mean to burden you but with this, but I need some help here. I need to get food to the villagers, keeping watch outside the village. I haven't been feeling well lately, and I can't bring myself to go out. They look forward to me taking them their meals every day. If only someone else could take the meals to them for me. Then everyone would be happy. It is Natalia's job to take food to those keeping watch outside the village. However, she hasn't been feeling too well, so take it to Theo for her. So, you'll take the food for me? I am so grateful. No problem. Leave it to me. The two villagers keep watch near the Digit 2 area. They should be stationed by the sea, a little way down from Digit 2. Keep a good lookout for them. <laughs> Boxed meal. Uh, 
Um, Zekit. Welcome. None of us here wish for this war to continue. It goes around, comes around. If you hurt someone, it will come back to haunt you. What's that noise? It's giving me the creeps. Welcome. Hey, do you have a minute? I need to talk to you. I've got this problem, you see? Do you know what I'm talking about? Could you go into more detail? Perhaps we can help in some way. Shulk, shall we lend a hand? Of course. I'll help in any way I can. Okay, here's the thing. <clears throat> it's my job to collect spring water from Zack Spring. But... Lately, I've been hearing these weird noises around there. It's creeping me out so badly. I'm too scared to go do my job. You know how that silver mechon fell onto the beach recently? It sounds like the creepy noise is coming from that. But I'm too scared to investigate it properly and find out what it is. So... Could you go and check what's making the noise? If it is a silver face making that noise, we can't ignore it. It's scaring the villagers, so we have to go and check it out. What's that about a silver face? Well, whatever. I just need you to find out what's making the noise. Hmm. Great. That's spirit. When you know what's causing the noise, come find me. No problem. Leave it to me. If Shulk put his mind to it, Ricky know he succeed. I'm relying on you too, Ricky. Friend of the world! That... Is the quest we have, uh not quest? That is the achievement we have gone. Which actually I completely forgot. I haven't gone over the achievement list, have we? Or we haven't gone over. I can't speak today. I am tired. <laughs> Ooh, Shulk has a new skill. Fever pitch increases chance of fever when gem crafting. And Ryan unlocked the skill melee champion. As for Melia, Melia got Electric Shock. That's a pretty good one, but let's get Fiora up. How did it go? Did you find the unit? You have given the Paizo Electric Unit to Lenata. Fiora should be okay now. I think we found it. Is this the Paizo Electric Unit? Yes, that's it. Well done. Lenata. Will Fiora be okay now? She'll be fine. It will just take me a little time to reconfigure and install the unit. Leave it to me. You get some rest. But... Shulk, do you want her to see you looking exhausted when she wakes up? You're right. I'll try and get some rest. Thank you for everything you're doing. Uh, by the way... Yes? The Chief says he wants to speak with you. I think it's about Egil. I'll go and see him. He wants Egil stopped. And so do we. But I need to sleep on it. Good. You mustn't overburden yourself. We will help you in any way we can. Thank you. Well, that I do believe is a good time to, I guess, a little bit of rest. So, let's 
go do that. Oh, and there's a quest here. Um, Shulk, come on. Let's go to Junks. Surely, surely, surely. Oh yeah, achievements. I was gonna show that off. So, um, wow, we've gotten 84 out of 150 of the achievements. It's not bad. So each ach achievement you unlock gives <laughs> gives uh, experience. This one says, defeat more, and more, and more, and more! But more of what? Enemies, I assume? <laughs> defeat more mech on than you can shake a Monado at! <laughs> uh... Defeat tons of aerial monsters. It's raining monsters. Uh, some of these achievement descriptions are quite humorous. Defeat a vast quantity of ether-based monsters. Defeat an endless stream of fish monsters. Break innumerable vision tags. Keep changing the future. Change the future an awful lot. Revive incap incapacitated mo party members many times. Revive incapacitated party members countless times. Uh, deliver an endless amount of critical hits. Uh, achieve Balsar Affinity into infinity. <laughs> yeah, some of these are quite humorous. Uh, we already got Quantum Killer Combo. That one's really good. Yeah. Alright, well... Basically, you get achievements by doing stuff in this game, so that about sums it up, if I do say so myself. Right now, we've got a quest to get. What do you need? This body is no good. Dunban, what are you doing? I need a more general purpose one, like a Hans. Sounds like you've got a problem. Well, Shulk, is this our cue? Yep, we should do whatever we can. So you'll listen to my troubles. Sorry to keep you. I am what you'd call a rescuer. My job is to save people in trouble. The problem is, I have trouble rescuing people from the water. Water is a real problem for us Magna, you understand. I've been thinking about it, and decided I want to become Homs. As a Homs, I could go in the water and rescue people anywhere. I've even thought of a way. I think I could do it with the right things. Um, three eggs, har two hearts, and poisonous corals? Then you'll help me. I am forever in your debt. No problem, leave it to me. Well, um, Braxit, you are an interesting one, and you have pushed us into the water. <laughs> He's just like, hmm, bragging about your being able to swim. I shall push you into the water myself. Alright. Let's talk to this Magna villager. Welcome. You must be tired. Please, feel free to use this room. Would you like to take a rest? Let's take a rest. Uh, 
Um... How are you? Sleep well? Yes, very well. I wanted to, uh, um, talk about your son. Have you made up your mind? Yes. We agree with you. Egil must be stopped. But we can't act now. Oh? Why's that? Before we came here, we heard of plans to form an allied force on Bionis. Any day now, they're going to launch an attack on Mechonis. But it's too dangerous. Egil has made a weapon that could kill us all. The weapon that Mumkar was using? The one that shoots green fluid? He said it can decompose any being from Bionis. We have to go back and warn them, before it's too late. Well, you could always ask me to do it. Dixon! What are you doing here? I can't believe you found us. Why? This place is directly below the fortress. If you fell from up there, I figured you must have ended up here. And Bob's your uncle. <laughs> you're looking well, Dixon. Ah, I see you're looking like your usual old self. You know each other. Kinda. <laughs> I scratch his back. He scratches mine. He tells us about the outside world. And we give him technology and information. Why did you keep that to yourself? That information is vital to all who fight Maconis. Not all of us Homs are good people. What would happen if the Maconis hating types found this place? These Machina cut themselves off from the world to get away from pointless fighting. So they escaped to live in peace. Somewhere they wouldn't be seen. Makes sense. Clever little crown princess, ain't ya? So this is where you obtained all that stuff you brought back to Colony 9. I wondered where you were getting it from. I thought it was fine as long as it helped Shulk out at the lab. I guess the secret's out now. So, that weapon. How dangerous are we talking about? I haven't discovered why, but it disintegrates anything it touches. But only if it's living tissue from Bionis. Hmm. Bet that would come in handy. Dixon. I'm only joking. Anyway, for now, just don't let any of it touch you. I'll come up with something to counter it. Leave it with me and I'll keep you posted. You lot go and take care of that eagle or whatever his name is. If you take him down, the Allied force might not even be needed. Okay. Let me think about it for a bit. Fiora. Ain't made your mind up yet. Dixon, listen. Dunban told me all about it. The goal of your mission. So, you wanted to avenge Fiora? Yes. But you found her alive, and now you've got her back. So, you're all done now, ain't ya? <sighs> what are you fighting for, Dixon? Me? He just gets right under my skin. That Egil guy. Because he's trying to exterminate the Homs? There's that. But that ain't everything. It's his hatred for the Bionis. Or more like his aim to wipe out everything that lives on the Bionis. <sighs> I'll tell you one thing. That Bionis allied force is coming together quicker than I thought. Really? Yep. That high end here prince is really moving things along. Will they launch an attack on Maconis? Of course. But it looks like the Prince has got another plan. He gave me a message for you. 
When the Allied force attacks Mekonis, you don't need to join the fight. He wants you to take advantage of the chaos and do what it is you need to do. Prince Kallian said that. I was pretty surprised too. He looks like a sissy, but he's got guts. Yeah. I think that's the type of man he is. So, what are you gonna do? He wanted me to let him know. We're going to the Maconis capital. You're gonna take down Egil? I don't know. I can't forgive the Mekon for what they've done. But after listening to Mikol, I think there might be another way. You're too soft. Do you really think that? Too right. He's the self-proclaimed leader of Mekonis. I heard about what he did to the Monado. If you face him, it might get eaten up. But you have to throw everything at him. Even if there's only a slim chance of winning. Hesitate for one second, and you're a goner. We won't let Shulk die. Not ever. Fiora, are you okay to be walking around? Yep. I have to hand it to her. That Lenarda's pretty good. And not just with machines. She's also quite familiar with organic physiology. You went to get the things she needed to cure me, right? I'm sorry I caused all this hassle. But I'm fine now. I'll be by your side, fighting to protect you. No matter where we go, no matter how difficult it gets, Shulk will do the right thing. It doesn't matter how slim our chances. Shulk will always stick to the right path. And don't forget, it's because of Shulk that we are all here, fighting together. I think that shows he has a strong character. Am I wrong, Dixon? Well, when I think about everything you lot have done, I can't deny that. Dixon, we're going to the Maconis capital. About the Allied force. Yeah, leave it to me. I ain't gonna let anything happen to the colony. Those Mekon won't get away with anything else. Are you going? Yes. Thank you for all your help. <laughs> you might run into someone called Venea in the capital. Just mention my name, she'll lend a hand. Venea? Is she a Machina as well? She's my daughter. She won't be far from Egil. Hold on. You mean she's Egil's sister? You've got it, lad. And you say she'll help us? The girl doesn't want to hurt Egil, but she doesn't like what he's doing. She should be a big help to you, young'uns. I don't know why she'd help us, but... We'll try and find her when we get there. <laughs> Good luck. Fiora, don't forget. I've only made temporary repairs. I think you should be able to fight, but don't overdo it. Come and see me the moment you experience any further system failure. I will. Thank you. In the meantime, I'm hoping I'll find a way to restore your former body. Is that possible? Theoretically, it might be possible to use your genetic information to regenerate your missing organs. Sorry, it's unfair for me to give you hope. To be honest, there's very little chance. But if there's even the slightest possibility, I'll have to try. Thank you, Leonardo. Fiora. <laughs> Don't make that face. Okay, let's go. Off you go, kid. I'm counting on you and the Monado. Don't let me down, Shulk. Why did that face betray me? And that light? No, that is not possible.
It must have been. Remnants of memories from her former life that made me lose control. Memories. They are what limited the potential of Metal Face as well. I now know that I must erase every last trace of what they once were. All my servants need is the instinct to fight. This Homs female. She was with the boy who wields the Monado. A light of her memory. It shines strongly in this one. Bring me face 20814. So it is this male. The boy Shulk remains a thorn in my side. I will enjoy watching my minion crush him. Be still, my servant. I see that your memories cause you much suffering. Shulk, take this. What is it? There's a path leading from the base of Digit 2 to the foot of the Mechonis. This is the security key to the door that seals the path. We who live in the village don't have any need for it, but it will be invaluable to you. We're in your debt, Linada. Shulk, Fiora, take care in your journey. We will. Linada. Thank you for everything. Well, I was waiting for the right time to say this, but... This is a point where we'll pretty much have to be cautious on how much progress we make. We've received the bulkhead key, and the reason why I bring this up now... Well... Oh, wow, there is an request here. Okay, well, let's take care of that then. Let's try having Fior in the lead. Um, okay, so it has to be in Junks then. Yeah, it's right here. Zillix. Yes. Do you know Arcadix? I know him, of course. I'm his godfather. I've known his father a long time. I was so honored he chose me. Eh? Yes. I don't think it's been that long since you arrived here, has it? So, I was just wondering... How much do you know about us Machina? Please, tell me more. So confusing! Say it in a way that Ricky can understand. If you want to find out more about us, I know just the thing. There are memory chips containing records of our lives on Nikonis. They're in Mekonis Field. They should help you to gain a deeper understanding of our kind. We too, we'd be glad if you could find the memory chips. We'd all like to relive the memories from those days. Find the memory pieces scattered throughout Mekonis Field. And just bring them back to me. Are you sure you're up to it? Oh, well, yeah. Just what I wanted to hear. I'm so glad you're interested in the lives of the Machina. Okay, I'll give it my best shot. Hero Pond show you what he can do. Well, that's interesting. Let's change the time. Around 19, we'll say. Oh wow, there's actually no new quests. Um, well that's fine. 
I was gonna tackle a bit of time trial anyway. We we do a bit of time tra uh time trial here. So we've got to clear third wheel. Cannot recommend taking it easy. <laughs> Not recommend taking it easy, he says. Uh Easily one of the best battle themes in this game, in my opinion. Let's do a chain attack. Uh, I'll go for double blade. Uh, sneaky. Backslash. Cannon drones? That was only wave one? Go for a chain attack. Twenty-one thousand seven hundred sixty-eight. That's pretty decent amount of damage, if I do say so myself. Alright, we absorb the ether. Can drones? That's another ponyo down. Okay, let's go for this. Happy, happy. And we'll go for heels on Shulk. Honestly, the heals are a little bit better at the moment. Okay. 
Ether Drain? <laughs> One of their attacks is just called Butt. Go for cannon drones. Sneaky. Backslash. Double blade. There we go. That Rhea Santol is almost down. Ether drain. Airfang? Zero gravity. Healing energy? There we go, that Mekon should be defeated. And now we have to defeat this offensive Seeker unit. Let's go for Ether Drain. That was a success. Ricky feels tired. We can't go on like this. Ooh, that's mm. it's new high Yay! Yeah, that could have gone better. Well, we'll come back and clear that layer. That that could have gone better. Uh. Oh look, it's raining. Well. We've certainly made a fair amount of progress today. We cleared some quests. We practically... Well, we reconstructed Colony 6 to level 3. We got through Galahad Fortress, finally. And to top it all off, we defeated some unique monsters and learned how, <clears throat> how helpful Minato Purge can be. With that being said, next time on Zoneblade Chronicles of Fan Edition, I don't think we'll be doing story stuff, unfortunately. <laughs> but, hear me out, I have good reason for this, because if we look through here, we can see that a lot of the quests from Alkamov I still have yet to complete, and they are all timed. So, we are better off to, honestly, we should clear these quests out. This has been Ms. So, that's what we are doing next time. This has been Masashio Yoshi signing off. Have a good one. Peace! Alright, so I'm recording this a few days later. Uh, or not a few days. I'm recording this a day later than the uh, recordings for part 51 through... Or no. I say part 51. I mean part 56 through 61. Um, I'm going to add this into post for part 61. Um, but if you remember from part 56, <laughs> uh, I was trying to get a very specific quest done. Uh, 
the challenge quest in Machina Forest. And lo and behold, while I was going to do some grinding for gold, it spawned in. <laughs> so, let's go and tackle that, shall we? Better not to waste this opportunity. The Shimmering Forte. It has spike damage, but it shouldn't be too bad. I mean, we have Shulkin Party. He can deal. He can deal with that. He's got Monado Purge. All right, we got Spear Blade. Uh, zero gravity. <laughs> and there you have it. Um, yeah, that's done. <laughs> so. Glad to see we got that done. Um, for items we get from the Shimmering Forte, we get a uh, Magic Stone, Prey Dino's Crystal, a uh, Cool Gel, and Serpent Biter. Nothing too out of the ordinary, but I still wanted to cover it anyway. Um, so yeah, that's that.